This is the Ha Shan Loop. One of the best road trips in Southeast Asia. You'll experience adventurous roads where one wrong move can be deathly. Breathtaking views of gigantic mountains and stunning rice terraces. This is the highlight of any traveler's trip to Vietnam who are brave enough to take on this adventure. Good morning and welcome to day three of the Ha Shan Loop. It has been an epic adventure so far. The views have been insane. And last night, the homestay was amazing. Another great family dinner, lots of karaoke, dancing this time as well. They even have a strobe light. Uh, our drivers got involved and they were dancing. It was a big, fun It was party. a fun night, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> It was really fun and the beds were actually really comfortable yeah. and a really comfortable stay and such a cute homestay. If we're a little slow right now, it's because we went to bed pretty late. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna um, get some breakfast now and then get going, I guess, right? Yeah, and make sure you subscribe and you haven't seen our other two videos of day one and day two. Go and check them out first before you watch this one. And make sure you subscribe because we have a lot more videos coming from Vietnam. Now, let's get some breakfast and coffee. <laughs> I need so much coffee today. You look like you need some coffee. <laughs> All right. The drive on day three of this motorbike loop continued with more winding roads. Our knees and bums were hurting from the last two days and we were all pretty tired from last night's party. But the fresh air woke us up and the spectacular views gave us energy. Even on day three, the views still amaze us all. The rice terraces are so stunning. We're now making a stop to see how they make fabric out of hand here in a village in the Hajang Loop. I'm really excited to see this. The Long Tan village we visited is occupied by Hmong ethnic minorities and known for the traditional craft of brocade weaving. This art of making linen fabric has been passed down from generations to generations. It was so fascinating to see this weaving process and the beautiful designs they create. That was so cool. It's so cool to see how they do that. It's really, really impressive. Yeah. It must be like so and honestly, like, on your must body. Be so, yeah, exactly, yeah. Like they are like basically on their knees, like painting and like really like fine details. Yeah, the detail is wow. amazing. It's Crazy. so impressive. All right, are you ready for lunch? I am actually very hungry. Me too, me too. I'm definitely ready for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Since we were making our way back down to Hazang the same way we came up, the views were the same as day one. And we made the same stop for lunch at the homestay in Yen Min town for another delicious family style feast. And we made it. We officially completed the Ha Shan Loop. How are you feeling? Uh, amazing. Yeah. Except my knees. <laughs> I'm sore. I'm sore everywhere. I think we're going to be sore for days, but like <laughs> completely worth it. This tour has been absolutely amazing. We're back at the Ha Jang Jose Hostel, and now we are waiting for the bus to take us back to Hanoi. We're going to tell you all about our opinions of the experience and what things you should know about when we see you there. Right.
and we made it back to Hanoi. As you can see, it is the next morning because we were so tired yesterday when we got back at 11 p.m. We took the Comfort bus back. It's a six hour, six and a half hour bus ride with one stop. And honestly, we really wish there were buses like this in Canada. It's so comfortable. Yeah, I was able to fully take a nap. It was super comfortable. Yeah, I mean, this experience, the Hasha Lube experience, was one of the best experiences that we did so far in our travels. It honestly still feels like a dream. Like, it, it, the views are absolutely insane. It is so amazing. Honestly, the videos can't even capture the beauty. You just have to come and see it for yourself. And of course, you can do it by yourself. Honestly, we actually anticipated the roads to be even worse just because of what we heard or read online. The roads aren't as bad if you are an experienced driver so you definitely could do it yourself but we do think that the easy rider uh, route is the way to go uh, because of well many reasons obviously safety is still uh, into play you can enjoy it, the views a lot more on the back even if you're an experienced driver and the best thing of all is the social aspect of it you're going to meet so many new people all around the world and make new friends it was really fun having the family dinners it is an incredible experience and we highly recommend doing it with a cheers hostel we are impressed at how organized everything was we had an incredible time and it's going to be hard to beat this experience oh yeah it's definitely at the top of all the things we've done on our travels. Incredible. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this three part series, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button because we have a lot of more things coming up here in Vietnam and in Indonesia. See you in the next one.